Winner of the last is number seven, Where's the Party, the daughter of Pathfork, and uh, well done to Mpenduka Buruwake. He receives the thousand rand thanks to Hollywood Bets and uh, also to mention a thank you to Cape Racing. A pickup ride for Jabu Jacobs, and in the Cape, predominantly, they do become winning rides. So, Jabu, well done. Thank you very much, uh, Vicky. I'd just like to say a uh, big thank you to Ms. Hambi for, uh, for letting me pick up the horse. You know, uh, Ms. Hambi just said to me, I'm just just leave her where she's happy, you know, because uh, she'll be traveling very well and she had a chance in this race. She came out and she was traveling, uh, coming for the 400, she was still traveling very easy. When I asked her, she gave it to me and she never stopped. She looked almost going better the, the, the further the race unfolded and especially when she hit the front, she, she seemed very comfortable there. Yes, uh, you know, uh, she was traveling very well, so I just let her, you know, just slide into my hands. And I uh, just sat as uh, long as possible. And when I asked her, she just kept on going again. Jabu, good luck for the win. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you to Mr. Ambi, uh, to the owners, thank you very much, to my sponsors, Winning Farm, thank you. Well done uh, to Jabu Jacobs. That's a pickup ride for him and uh, trainer being Shane Humby. It's uh, bitterly cold out here, so thank you for, for waiting around. Good luck for the win. Uh, thanks, Vicky. Nice to have you in the Cape and also to have the, the win under your belt. Yeah, it is nice. Uh, it's been a long, hard road. But yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Love, love being back here. I'm sure you do. And uh, also nice to have the, the win for Rod. He's, he's been a, a good uh, supporter of yours. Yeah, very good. Um, good luck to Rod and good luck to Bevan. Um, gets cranky. But yeah, very loyal and I'm very, very happy for him. We're all happy for you. Well, good luck. Oh, thank you, Vicky. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Pleasure. The legend that is uh, Shane Humby. Lovely to interview him with uh, his win in the Cape. Number seven, where's that party? Well done to also James Armitage for breeding the daughter of Path Fork. Home to victory. I don't think she'll stop here. Such a consistent filly leading up to today's win. And good win indeed. Uh, we've got MJ standing by with a comment for a jockey. Before we cross to him, thank you very much to all of you for joining us. We'll see you here on Wednesday, the 26th of uh, July. Keep warm. Home safe. Yeah, thanks, Vicky. Uh, Aldo ran second on flying first and the last. Thanks for joining me. She's slowly catching back her form and was a fair run. Yeah, I think a uh, nice uh, equipment change than, than the trick last time. She just travelled hard in, in, in the mud and uh, today I think she had the right equipment on. She was nice and settled. Race couldn't have gone much better for her and um, I knew that the, the eventual winner had nice form, but I knew Ambi was training it, so I thought I might be able to beat it. And uh, I must say, quick and quite nicely. It adds off to our filly, Candice got in nice condition. Once the confidence is up, I'm pretty sure she'll be one you can follow. I definitely think Mr. Ambi will be throwing stones at you on Monday at track. Good day's racing today. It was a lot of people on court, tricky, but it was a good day. Yeah, you can call it a good day. I think the trend was set when Bernard won the first two. Then you had to know that it was just going to be a day where funny looking guys were going to have winners because. Of course, and Grant wins the next two, and then that probably set the trend. I tried to shift that aside, and I thought that we are going to go into the last race with confidence, and I thought I'm just going to use some words my mom always said to me, and um, I'll never forget it. She, she came to me one day and said, God, you're my ugliest child, but you've got the most talent. So I thought I'm going to go into that race with confidence, and I remember when I was just a little kid, and you were like 30, in your 30s, late 30s, and um, you said you're the best jockey in this jockey room, and even though it was just you and I there, uh, <laughs> it's something that always stayed with me. So I went into this race with confidence. Just be credit to Ambi and Jabu. Those clippers they used for Bereave, did you have the same clippers? Did Adam do your face or was one of the grooms that did it? One of, those, one of the guys that did it. What's his name? Um, I can't remember. Spider, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Spider, is it right? Yeah, yeah, Spider. No, no, no. Uh, Adam and I remain unclipped throughout winter, so that's probably why we hang the way you do. But we're getting we're getting back into the good condition we were in once before. And uh, yeah, hopefully some, come, come summertime we'll be back into full swing. Although, a lot of comments from someone that didn't have a winner today, but yeah, nice run from flying first. It was a really good day today. Uh, well done to Mr. Ambi for having a, a winner. Thanks to all the sponsors there, World Sports Betting, everyone involved, Hollywood Bets. Uh, it's really, obviously, quite a cold day here, yeah? but it was some really nice winners. Justin had a fantastic day. Um, we're hoping to see you on Wednesday. Hopefully, the rain stays away, and yeah, we'll be back at Hollywood Bets, Kenilworth. We're going to go to the replay of race 10.